Welcome to the FDNY exam video segment. This video is designed to accompany the operations manual and question set found on our website and in the review guide. Please note, not all videos deal directly with firefighting because the actual test includes material not related to firefighting. Also, we kept the videos very simple to avoid distractions. They were not intended for your entertainment. Inspection of hydrants. One, it is recommended that hydrants be inspected or flushed twice a year, spring and fall. After each use in extremely cold weather, a hydrant should be checked specifically for drainage. Two, external inspection. A, check chains, make sure they allow the nozzle cap to turn freely. B, check all caps, make sure they can all be removed. C, check paint, removal all loose paint and repaint if necessary. Three, lubricate hydrant prior to operating a hydrant. A, where oil is specified, use white mineral oil, USP. Vegetable oil is not an equal. B, where grease is specified, used food machinery grease. Four, flushing fire hydrant. A, using a hydrant operating wrench, turn the hydrant stem in the direction of opening, indicated by an arrow cast in the hydrant. A pipe wrench is not the equivalent of a hydrant operating wrench. B, open hydrant at a moderate pace, typically one turn per second. It is not a race. C, open the hydrant to fully open. It will come to a solid stopping point. Do not try to open hydrant past this point. Damage can be done to the internal parts of the hydrant. If hydrant is not fully open, water will flow out of drain or weep holes and cause damage to the drain field around the hydrant. Water may come up the sides of the hydrant or nearest valve box. D. Flow the hydrant until water becomes clear and no objects are flowing from the hydrant, such as rocks. Be sure to control the direction of the flow of the hydrant so that damage is not done to anything in the water's path. Using some type of diffuser is recommended. E. Close the hydrant slowly. One turn every one plus seconds so that the hydrant does not close too quickly and create a water hammer that could possibly blow a water main. F. When hydrant is closed, you should be able to back off the operating nut a quarter to half turn, sweet spot. You find water pressure that should hold the hydrant valve shut. G, place hand over nozzle and feel suction. H, leave nozzle cap off or loose to allow for hydrant to drain. Closing cap tightly before hydrant is drained will cause water to remain in hydrant barrel. In winter, this could freeze and cause the hydrant barrel to split or damage the internal parts of the hydrant. Could even possibly cause the hydrant to open itself up because of the weight of the ice in the barrel. I, when hydrant has drained, place a small amount of food grade grease on nozzles and put on nozzle caps. Failing to routinely remove and grease nozzles could cause cap to rust to the nozzle and not allow the cap to be removed. Five, if hydrant fails to shut off, do not force hydrant closed. Open hydrant back up and try to flush the obstruction out of the hydrant. It may take three or four attempts to flush out the obstruction. If this does not work, hydrant must be taken apart for main valve and possibly hydrant seat replacement. Six, if hydrant fails to drain, put all caps in place and tighten. Then open the hydrant two to three turns to attempt to flush out the drains of the hydrant. Let sit in this open position for five to 10 minutes. Close hydrant and remove one of the caps to check for drainage. If hydrant still does not drain, it should be pumped after each use.